All right, hey everybody, let's take a look at this game uh, in which we try to beat Urania. We're going to use Artemis for this. And um, I've not had a chance to do any like nice editing on this video, so I'm just going to be pausing and fast forwarding and stuff as we go. Um, thanks for bearing with me on that. But let's, let's talk first about what the general strategy is here. So Urania's obvious, you know, challenge is that she moves around very, very fast across the board when she can um, sort of teleport from edge to edge. And she can also build very effectively from edge to edge as well. So we need to figure out a way to counter that. The way we're going to do it is by playing with Artemis, who has a fair amount of speed herself. So what we're going to try to do is keep up with Urania long enough to weaken her. And the, the key terms to think about here are terms that you'll be familiar with if you play any games like Magic the Gathering or something like that. We're thinking about aggro versus control. Aggro standing for like aggressive. Um, the aggro side of a two of a two player matchup is going to be the side of the matchup that wants to win quickly. In this case that's Urania. Um, Urania is at her most effective at the beginning of the game when all of the <clears throat> edges of the board are clear and she can move anywhere she wants, build anywhere she wants. As the board fills up with blocks, if we can start blocking off the perimeter, then Urania's power will weaken. And so if we can drag the game on long enough, continue countering her threats with Artemis's mobility, then Urania's power will start to be less and less useful, and eventually Artemis's power should actually end up being able to win the game. So Artemis is playing the control side of the matchup. She's going to try to control Urania for long enough at the beginning of the game that she can weaken her, and then Artemis will try to take over and win in the second half. That's the general strategy, so here we go. We're going to set up doing a fairly standard setup here in the middle of the board, just so that we can control as much of the board as possible. We don't want Urania to be able to run off into a corner and get a quick win. My first build, <clears throat> I'm not convinced that this is actually the best place to build, um, but it's a decent place to build because when it's over here, Urania can't move up onto it. <clears throat> You'll see that she's actually able to build on top of it, so I can't move up with Artemis, but at the very least we're not letting Urania um, get up onto a block early and make any threats. Urania will build on top of it, and we'll just try a similar thing now. Oops. <laughs> we will build another level 1. So now, obviously, threatening to move up onto that level 2 by using Artemis's power. And while that's decent, again, we're not trying to win the game right now. Uh, we're just trying to keep Urania kind of occupied and shut down. So again, I'm mostly just trying to build a block that Urania can't get up onto. I don't want to give her any help in, in pulling off a fast win. Urania will build on top of this block too. And now, <clears throat> you'll see that there's starting to become a wall down this side of the board uh, of level 2 blocks. That's actually good. Um, it could become a liability later if Urania is able to get up onto a level 1, like over here or here, because then she'll be able to move off the board and come back on over on this side. But at the moment, this wall <clears throat> is preventing Urania from moving to either of these squares. And I really like that. Again. The whole idea here at the beginning of the game <clears throat> is to just keep Urania contained, keep her under control. And so the fact that this worker is unable to use her power to move to either of these squares is really good. That means that Urania's power is becoming less useful. Similarly, this worker in the middle of the board right now can't use Urania's power at all. Um, it can't move off the perimeter, and it can't even use her power to build, because it can only move to... Uh, these, oops, <laughs> it can only move to these squares, so it can't build off the perimeter from there either. So so that worker in the center can't use Urania's power for anything particularly useful right now, can't use it at all, and the worker on the edge is being restricted in where it can use the power to move. So this is all good. We're going to try to just keep this up. <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is just keep going with the plan. Um, build a block that Urania cannot get up onto <clears throat> and just try to wait and, and make Urania try to make a threat and then see if we can shut that threat down. Um, so there we go. 
build another block over there. Not much to say about it. And Urania will decide to build on it again. So, again, as long as Urania is on the ground, I'm okay with these level twos. Here, <clears throat> I finally hit upon an idea that I think I probably should have started doing earlier, which is building on the central squares. So, as I was saying before, this worker in the center cannot use Urania's power. And so, kind of following that idea is that if we end up playing a large amount of the game in the center of the board, in these uh, nine squares here, including this one where the worker is, then if Urania's workers want to play in the center of the board, then they're kind of forfeiting the ability to use Urania's power. So I'm okay with this worker moving up onto that block like that, because if it wants to stay on that block, well, it doesn't have the ability to, to use Urania's power to move around. So, however, when Artemis is in the middle of the board, she still has her power, you know, just as much as she does anywhere else on the edge. She can still move two spaces in one move, and that's very powerful. So when we're playing in the center, Artemis actually has an advantage over Urania in terms of mobility. So I'm building in the center saying, sure, go on, get up onto it. I'm okay with that because I don't think it's as useful for you to have a block in the center as it is for me to have a block in the center. Keep going. Now Urania will make an interesting, an interesting move here. And originally, what I thought I needed to do here was move this worker down and build a level 2 on there. Because I thought, I really don't want Artemis getting up onto that block, because then she might have access to this block that way, um, or you know she might build a block over here and start doing all sorts of you know shooting back and forth across the board more quickly than I could keep up with her. However, I realized that if I were to move here and build there, this worker would be able to move to where I was and build a block in this corner. And that seemed pretty bad to me, because there's no way for me to keep it from getting up onto that block. And uh, with a worker in the corner like that, with all these level twos around it, I thought Urania might get really dangerous. So as odd as it looks at first, I decided to let Urania get up onto this level one over here, um, because I thought that trying to stop her from getting up onto it might actually allow her to make an even more dangerous threat than she's making by simply getting up onto the level one. So instead of trying to, I thought about this for a while, instead of trying to stop her from getting up, I just got up myself and built, you'll see, uh, built this level one right over here. So again, continuing to build in the center. I'm not going to build anything in the perimeter. Um, I mean, I started out building in the perimeter over here, obviously, but eventually I figured out what I probably should be doing, which is building in these central squares, so I'm just going to keep doing that. Once again, I'm fine with Urania getting up like this, um, because I don't think it's as useful for her to be on that block. Um, she really wants to be in the perimeter, so go ahead and get up on, in the, get up on a block in the center. I, I don't really care. Urania will jump up onto this level one as she... Um, threatened to do, and build that block over here on A2. This is basically trying to give her access to this complex of blocks that I'm starting to build. It's a decent move. Um, I might have thought about building over here if I were playing as Urania, uh, just so that she has a way to you know, get back across the board very quickly and uh, try to basically evade me. Um, you know, move around faster than, than I can follow her. This this move she made seems decent, um, but I always have the option of moving this worker here to block her from, from moving over like that. So <clears throat> I'm not sure it was incredibly helpful for her. Also, of course, she's threatening to move up like that, um, but we'll see. I could just build a level three on top of that, but what I opted to do instead was thought about it for a while, and then built this level one. So I did vacate this square, and so if her worker in the center wanted, Urania could move there and build a level one in the corner, uh, as I was saying before. However, I'm also threatening to get this worker up onto one of these two level two blocks next turn. So I'm kind of making Urania make a choice, like, all right, do you want to continue furthering your agenda, or do you want to let me make, do you want to allow me to have a little bit of a threat going on? 
um, she could clearly just move up here, but there's no way for her to pre prevent me from getting up onto both of these, um, or rather, I'm going to be able to get up onto at least one, no matter what she does. So she could move over there and build a level three here, but in that case, I could move here and dome it, uh, or of course I could move all the way up here and dome it, and then she's just sitting on this level two with kind of nowhere to go. So that seems like it would be a decent way of you know, shutting down one of her threats, which is our stated goal. So she has to decide what she's going to do here, and she decides to keep me from getting up onto this level one or onto either of these level two blocks, which means that we were successful in slowing her down, controlling her, keeping her from getting a runaway win. She'll move up, builds a level three there. So obviously the threat is, you know, move off here and be threatening to win, uh, or maybe move up here and be threatening to win. So, you know, she's, she's trying to set up the quick win. She's trying to play the aggro game. So what should we do in response? Well, one excellent way to shut down this, you know, possible threat to win on this level three is to dome that level three. So since I'm not trying to, to win immediately, my first priority is to stop her from winning. I should just, you know, dome the level three and make sure she can't use it to win. An added benefit of doing this is that it's blocking off a perimeter square now. So not only have I, you know, stopped her from using that particular square to win, but I've also taken away that square for use with Uranus power. We're starting to weaken her. Again, that's the whole goal of this early part of the game. And believe it or not, this still is the early part of the game uh, because Urania's power is very, very strong until you get a significant amount of the perimeter shut down. All right, so she's now threatening to do something along the lines of move here, build there, or possibly move off the board, come back here, build there. Um, she could also move up like this and build here. So she's got a bunch of different options. And I'm not sure that this one worker on the ground can handle them all. Um, running back and forth across the board like this is going to get difficult, um, especially if it starts getting built up in the middle, or if this worker comes down here, builds a level two, and therefore creates a sort of wall. Um, so I don't think that I can handle all of her threats with just that one worker. However, I don't really want to move this worker down to the ground because it's already up on level one. Moving down to the ground sort of forfeits that position. And one of the best ways to prevent Urania from being able to win is not just to be able to dome her threats, but also to set up Artemis's workers so that they can make use of any level three that Urania might build. That's going to basically stop Urania from building level threes at all. So right now, this worker cannot access any of the blocks over on this side of the board. So the natural thing to do would be to try to connect the two sides of the board. So that's what we will do. Move here, build right in the middle. All right, so now I've connected up the two sides of the board. You know, if this worker moves up here and builds a level two, well, now my worker here will have access to it. All right, so that's a pretty good move, and it's threatening to move up here and build there. This worker would not be able to dome that, so it would force this worker down to the ground to be able to put a dome on that square, and I don't like that. Now, there's not anything I can do to make sure that this worker would be able to stay off the ground and still dome over here, um, but I can at the very least try to make it easier for myself to get back up after I'm forced down to the ground. So what I do is, oh, gotta back up a little bit, I move over and build a level one, one right there. So that way, if I'm forced to go down to this square to dome here, at least I have a bunch of stuff right near me that will allow me to get back up to level one pretty quickly, hopefully. So Urania, instead of doing, um, instead of making the threat that I thought she was going to make, makes a different threat. The threat here was for this worker to move off the edge of the board and win on here. Um, I have only one move that I can make in response to this, so I make it. I go and dome. And I am in fact forced down to the ground, but luckily, because of Artemis's mobility, I'm able to get back onto this block, or this block, or if this worker moves, I could get back onto that block. 
So there are three different ways I could get back up, um, which means that it's not going to be possible for Urania to block all of them. This is the power of Artemis's mobility. All right, so that move is very close to keeping this worker locked out and down on the ground. Um, the only way that it can get up is by going like that. So eventually what I decide is that I should really get up with this worker. Um, the other reason that I move up onto level one with this worker over here instead of this worker is that if Urania is to make this threat now, um, this worker is still unable to dome it. So once again, it, if it would force this worker to dome by moving to this square or this square. If I spend a turn right now moving this worker back up, and then I just have to move it back down to the ground to dome, that's sort of a waste of a turn. So I may as well leave this worker on the ground in order to dome this square, and move this worker up onto level 1. Which is what I eventually decide to do. There we go. And I will build in a place that is, seems to be the least helpful for Urania. Um, these are all perimeter, so I'm not going to build there. Building right here gives Urania a level 2 she can move up onto. Building here gives her a level 3, and building here gives this worker a way to move down without getting onto the ground. So I end up building um, in that other square. Obviously here I'm just going to dome that. And I'm actually kind of happy about the fact that Urania is building a level 3 there, because again, I'm able, able to dome it, able to shut her down, and it's blocking off yet another perimeter square, so weakening her power. And now I'm allowed to get up onto level 2, which is great. So let's go ahead and get up. I build there because um, I don't really mind that it's giving Urania a level 2 to move onto. If she decides to move onto it, then I can move here, build there, and force her to move down either with this worker or with that worker. That, that seems good. So the tide is turning a little bit. Now that I have the center built up so much, I'm starting to get into a position where Artemis can actually start trying to win the game instead of just preventing Urania from winning the game. Let's keep going see how Urania responds to this. Now at first that move looks really weird. It's like why would you jump down off of level 2 when you don't actually have to? But if you think about it, it's potentially the best move she could have made. Um, this worker doesn't really want to move. If it moves over this way, well then I could move here and build a level 3 here, um, which would force somebody to move down. And if it moves here, I could do what I said before, build there. and. If it doesn't move to either of those squares, well, then it's moving down, either to level 1 or all the way to the ground over there, so that seems bad. And it needs to be right here in the center, because um, it is preventing me from trying to win on any of these squares right now. If I were to build a level 3 on any of those squares, it could move to it. So, for the moment, it's playing some really solid defense in the middle of the board. So, it has to move. Basically, Urania has to move the other worker, um, or else she's going to be giving up an advantageous position for that worker in the middle. This worker over here, while it was on level 2, it didn't really have anywhere it could go um, because of this dome, because of this dome that we'd managed to, to set up earlier in the game. So it's got to go somewhere um, since the worker in the middle doesn't want to move. So may as well jump down and start trying to get up over here like this and try to, you know, get access to this complex of blocks in the middle. So. It looks like a weird move at first, but it's actually fairly decent. However, it's also fairly easy for me to respond to, so let's see how that works. And this is another important concept for playing against Urania. You can use domes to block her, so these domes along the edge of the board are weakening her power. You can also use your own worker. So this worker right here is basically acting as a temporary dome. Um, Urania wanted to move this way and come up onto level 1, and I am now stopping her from doing that. So let's see what she decides to do as a result. Alright, try to, try to make another level 1. But now, I can try to make a threat, or at least set up a threat. So, first of all, the fact that I'm building level 2 here means this worker cannot move over to this side of the board like that anymore, which is great. And it's threatening to do this. Move this worker here, build a level 3 there. Remember, I can't build a level 3 in any of these central squares right now because of this worker in the middle. 
but I can build a level 3 right here, and this worker right here would not be able to move on to it, so it's a legitimate threat to win. So Urania, you know, it, it wouldn't be a game over if I were to build a level 3 right here, but it would force Urania to respond to that threat. Um, and again, the tide is turning toward Artemis at this point, so we're putting Urania in the seat where she has to be reactive as opposed to us being in the seat where we had to be reactive, which was sort of the case toward the beginning of the game. How does Urania want to handle this threat? Okay, so she's going to go back up, build level one, again trying to give herself a way to get over to that side of the board by moving this way and coming back in there. and see how she decides to dome. She'll probably use this worker, because this worker would have to move down like that, which seems bad. Okay, great. Let's try to make another threat using our mobility. By building over here, we're now threatening to do this. Move this worker down, build a level three here. And that would actually win, because this worker cannot access that square to dome. And this worker also cannot access that square to dome. Um, even Urania's power does not help her get close enough to dome over there. So this is a, an immediate threat that she has to deal with. She has to get close enough to dome it. And the point here is that she could move off the edge of the board, come back in here, and be able to dome that, that square. Still, potentially a threat worth making, because it's going to force her down off of level 1. So let's go ahead and do it. Urania only has one move that she can use to dome this, so she'll go ahead and do it. And now, Urania has very kindly given us this level 3 over here, which she maybe didn't have to do, but since she did it, absolutely going to make use of it. So move over, and build a level 2. I am, of course, threatening to move onto that level 3 and win. And another important thing, let's back up just one second, another important thing about this move is that by building a level 2, so we forced this worker down onto the ground, and now by building a level 2 over here, we've made it so this worker cannot move off the board this way and come back in on that square. So once again, we are weakening Urania even further by putting obstacles in the perimeter. So that means that in order to dome this threat, this worker has to move, finally. The worker that's been playing defense in the middle for many, many turns now is finally going to have to um, move off of that square, which is going to be excellent for us. So Urania will dome, and now we've got a win in two. Notice both of Urania's workers are on the ground. There's all sorts of domes and um, one level two blocking up the perimeter, so her mobility and her building ability is severely limited. Artemis is firmly in the driver's seat at this point, and this is going to seal the deal. I'm just deciding there's actually there's two places that I could build. I could build there, or I could build here, um, and both would win. But it seemed sort of poetic to build right in the middle, since I've been talking a lot about how we try to build up in the center in order to win. All right, so there you go. That's uh, a victory using Artemis playing against Urania. Uh, again, key takeaways from that are the idea of aggro versus control. We were thinking of Urania as the aggro power, trying to get a quick win and Artemis playing control, just shutting Urania down and gradually weakening her over the course of the game until Artemis' power is better and we have a chance to set up some threats and win the game ourselves. Um, also, thinking about building in the center, um, using Artemis' power to control the center of the board and force Urania to play in the center where her, her power is significantly worse than it is when she's on the edges. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it's helpful, and good luck uh, beating Urania in your own games. See you next time.